Welcome to Contower. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to identify the trading opportunities based on trapped buyers and sellers using the COT indicator. We already have a detailed video on COT indicator, how the calculation is done when it comes to calculation of COT high and COT low values, the significance of this data in the order flow analysis and uh, all other details that you would like to know more about this COT indicator. So the video link of this uh, is uh, in the description box below. So first let's add the indicator. Uh, so to add the indicator, all you have to do is you have to go to the uh, indicator list, add indicator, and there's an uh, indicator name COT high low indicator. Once this indicator is added, so you will see the values plotted on the chart. So you can plot these values on a regular candlestick chart or on a cluster chart as well. So to get a better understanding about this indicator, I prefer to uh, use this on a order flow or cluster chart uh, cluster charts. So let's uh, look at uh, the trading opportunities. So using this indicator, we can easily identify the trading opportunities uh, with one is to one or one is to two risk reward. So let's identify the trapped buyers and sellers. To identify the trapped buyers and buyers first, uh, so let's look at the values where uh, uh, we will look at the values plotted on the top of the candles or top of the bar. So here you can see both these values are positive values. So let us let me mark this as well. Both these values are positive values. That means at this high level, there are trapped buyers. Okay. So again, you see a, such an opportunity uh, around this level. So the high at this of this level, we will, we will see uh, that there are uh, trapped buyers out here. Another opportunity that we see here is at this level where we see both the values are positive which means that at this level there are a lot of trapped buyers. So similarly we will identify the trapped sellers as well. So in this uh, to identify that we will look at the bottom of the chart or bottom of the bar and then uh, we will see where we see two negative values. So here you can see both the COT high and COT low are negative. So you can see this uh, is another opportunity for you to identify the trapped sellers. So let's look at uh, how we can, uh, we can make use of this data and uh, get a 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 risk reward trade. So once the trade is identified uh, uh, based on the COT data, which we normally recommend to plot on a 15 minute interval, uh, anything less than that would not be a sufficient data for us to identify this. And uh, hence we recommend minimum 15 minute interval if you are an intraday trader. Uh, if you are looking at positional trades, probably you can look at even higher intervals as well. So here what we look at here uh, next, open up this particular bar, you could look at the possible risk that you have in this particular trade. So if you look at this open bar, the market opened around this level. And from here to the high of the previous bar, we have about 47 points of risk. Okay. So now it is entirely up to you how uh, much risk you would like to take with every trade. But I think uh, if you if you're trading bank nifty, you could look at trades within the range of 30 point risk or 30 to 40 point risk. And based on that, you can identify one is to one or one is to two risk reward trades. So since the market has opened from here, the market made a low up to this level, which is almost 120 points. Similarly, you would have another trade out here which had a probably much lesser risk of about 18 points or 18 to 20 points. And then from this high, the market made a low of almost 70 odd points. Next trade opportunity that we got was about based on the trapped sellers. So if you look at this, the, we can see that at the bottom of this bar, we have a trapped seller. 
market opened around this level so we have a slightly bigger risk here so it is entirely up to you whether you would like to take this trade but here you see a 50 point uh, 54 point risk from the open uh, since then the market made a high which is giving you another one is to two uh, risk reward trade as market made almost 115 odd point rally from those low levels Another trade we got here is at this level where we yeah, again we see a slightly bigger risk, almost 60 point risk out here. Uh, from this open market made a low of almost 80 points. So it is entirely up to you what kind of a risk you would like to take with every trade. Uh, the reward is uh, easily you can expect uh, one is one or one is to two. So similarly, let's look at identifying this uh, opportunity in Nifty as well. So I have a Nifty chart out here. And we got one trade out here wherein we see a trapped seller, a trapped buyer in fact. And uh, the risk reward year was almost uh, 20 points uh, i mean from the open market opened lower with the high of this level so in this case you would have probably lost uh, on this particular trade because you would have hit a stop loss market didn't move much lower but thereafter we immediately found a trapped seller out here so if you are if you are already in this particular trade you would have exited uh, from this particular trade and you would have gone long on this trade so the opportunity here was a very limited risk almost 10 point risk against a possible reward of almost 55 to 60 points so based on this information you can identify uh, good uh, trades uh, or intraday trades rather uh, with a very limited risk as well as with the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2. For more such videos, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.